Figueredo versus Moreno rematch. I'm hearing this, guys. I'm hearing this. Now, I certainly concede that Figueredo or any champion, the moment he loses, automatically becomes the number one contendership for his own belt. I get it. It works on paper. Here, here's the problem. That fight was not competitive. It was not back and forth. It was not tit for tat. It, it wasn't one of those situations. It, it, was a, it was a mauling, absolute mauling by Brandon. Moreno. So I only I only bring that to you because what I would like to see Figueredo do, I don't think he's got his biggest problems in the cage, by the way. I think his biggest problems come the day before in the form of the scale. I would like to see him go to 135 pounds. One, I, I, I just, I like him there. Two, on a more human level, the dedication that you must have to make that weight, and all of you can relate to this, right? Do you weigh less now than you weighed two years ago? Right, as human beings, we gain weight over time. So the older he gets, the more of a challenge it's going to be. And it is truly, it's a life experience. I mean, the commitment that you have to make to make these weight classes, and we're in one of the very few industries, very few industries on the face of the planet where they weigh you in before they let you go to work. That would be a lawsuit if any other boss tried to do that, right? I mean, it's, it's one of those things. And I say that and I try to stress it because you might not know. Right. If you've never done that, if you've never tried that, you never tried to live that life or competed in something in high school where you, ha where you had the weight, you may not know. And on a human level, and I'm, I'm just a guy that I had to do it myself. That 185 pounds moved up to 205 pounds, but life just gets better. All of a sudden, those days in the gym and the training, but having fuel in your body to go do it, you just feel better. You're in a better spirit. You're in a better attitude. Fight week itself becomes a lot less stressful. Trying to do interviews, trying to work out, even trying to sleep when you're dehydrated, very tough stuff. And I just know that Figueredo, it's one way to extend your career. The less taxing things you can put on your body, including of the weight cut, the greater chance you have to extending your career. I would just like Figueredo to do it so that he could go through what I went through, which was be happier. Be a more pleasant person to be around. I also like the way that he would compete, though. He is very strong. You know, you can see that even through TV. You can see that when he takes his shirt off the way, you know, he looks like he's carved out of stone, but he's also very physically strong. Some guys can't just change weights. It's a nice thing to say, but they could have height issues or they could have reach, issue, reach issues. He does not have height or reach issues. He is built like a 135 pounder. Absolutely. And as he's going to go and he's going to get older, look, he's going to go right to the top. I couldn't guarantee you guys that can beat him. I mean, I couldn't guarantee, well, you know, if he runs into, he can go with anybody. He can get right in there and compete. And I don't know that he's going to refine the championship at 125 with Moreno. So in that regard, what's the difference? What's the difference? You're going to be the number two guy in this weight class? You're going to be the number six guy in this weight class. What's the difference? If you're not champ, you're not the champ. But this weight class can give you some parity. This weight class can, can make you happier. Your life can be better, truly. I think he should give that a real good look. And there's always a misconception. We always make the mistake falsely of believing, right? If I do good at, at 205 pounds, I'm going to do great at 185 pounds. If, I, if I'm doing fine at 185, I'm going to do much better at 170. It's a misconception. I could tell you and run right through the list of people that have actually done that and gone down. It doesn't work out as well as guys that did it the other way, which is that went up. The guys that go up, that can get that extra workout in because they have the extra energy, that, that, that can be a little bit happier that maybe are a little bit undersized, but they find that that gives them a speed advantage. And it also helps their conditioning instantly. Instantly, your conditioning goes up if the other guy's carrying more pounds in you, right? It's just one of those things. But I think when you do look at 135 pounds and you look at Figueredo, I think that it's very compelling. I think many of those matchups are going to be very fun. I told you Figueredo's going to fight Dominic Cruz. I think you'd be thrilled. I tell you Figueredo's going to fight Sanhagen. and he's going to fight Sean O'Malley. I think that you would be thrilled. Down at 125 pounds, I mean, look, throw him right in there with Moreno right away. Otherwise, what, what's the point? He's going to go through a couple of guys and re-qualify for that championship match. What is going to be different, right? I mean, it's just one of those spots. And every now and then, 
Guy has your number. So what? Guy has your number. It's the way it goes. Some you got to wait him out. Wait till wait till Moreno goes up to one thirty five. Wait till Moreno stops doing it. Wait till Moreno gets beat. Sometimes that's what you got to do. One hundred fifty five pounds. That's what all the guys had to do. They had a hammer in their way, named Khabib. They all had to wait him out. How am I going to get to the top? I'm going to stick around longer than this guy because I can't beat him. That's the way it goes. It's the hand that I got dealt. There's nothing wrong with that. We're not looking down on the 55 pounders. It's a great, it's a, it's a great way to go through life. It's a great strategy. I can tell you, a guy that's been in sport, one of the easiest ways and the surest ways to beat somebody better than you is wait them out. Can I hang in here longer than you can? I'm going to be here tomorrow. Are you? I'm going to be here the next day too. Are you? And you'll look around and no, the answer is no. Most guys are not. But that's part of the game. It's one It's one of these deals. And I, I, I'm just, I'm thinking about getting Figueredo in there, but not in a championship match with Moreno. So that means he's a contender status. Okay. Who's he got to beat to requalify to get that fight? And if he does requalify and get that fight, do we have any reason to believe it's going to be a different outcome? And is it a fight that we're even excited to see? I mean, these guys gave us some really good minutes. These guys gave us eight rounds. But the point was still proved. The point was absolutely proven. I've always loved the idea of Garbrandt going down to 125. And I think if Garbrandt goes 125, I like the idea that he gets to go right in for a championship match. 25 could use some sprucing up. Figueredo saved them in ways that he hasn't fully been recognized for. He saved them. He helped. He was very helpful. And now Moreno with the first ever Mexican-born champion, he's going to go and have a great run as well. But there's some opportunity, right? There's some major opportunity. I like the Garbrandt idea. I don't really care what his record's been as of late at 135 pounds. That guy's a world champion. Guys, a world champion going to enter the weight class. My opinion, give him a shot. 